Okay guys, here's a night view of what my truck looks like now. The upgrades I added, including the fog lights. You see a better view in the daytime, but I just want you to see what it looks like at night. And these are the new tail lights that I put in. I didn't do a video for it, but you can see they're really, really nice lights. And they're very bright gives it kind of like the new Dodge Ram you know the new 1500s kind of look but I really like the look on it gives on this model it really sets really good with the, with the ride it's my baby 2010 Ram no paint jobs yet but it needs one <laughs> and my hood as I said, in the daytime, you see it better, but these, these new LEDs, I don't know how it looks. Really nice, the daytime running lights as well. So during the day, you just see the, like an L shape, but you can't really see it properly in the camera. But when you put on the fogs, because that's the photo fogs being on, when you turn on the fogs, right here, then they go even brighter, as you can see. Cause to me that it like doesn't really angle properly on these trucks, so that's why I got those um, fog lights. Really bright. That's my baby. As I said, just showing you guys what you can do to. Upgrade your RAM. Okay, let's go on the inside. Okay, now this is what I did to the inside for my upgrades. Really nice 12 inch. So, my friend, I look, I added the floor lamps, giving a nice, cool color, and I could choose whatever color I want. I also um, put them underneath the seats as well for the back end to give that nice, you know, cool effect. But this is what my cockpit looks like now, guys. And now, I even added heads up display. Yeah, 2010 RAM. Got my heads up. I have a 12 inch screen. Um, 1000 watt stereo, I have, well it's just an amplifier that I have added to the truck as well. Um, this screen gives you full navigation, um, even YouTube, you name it. And you can message me if you want to purchase one. So I'm in the market for selling as well. But yeah, my 2010 Ram. I'll give you a good front view. Now the seats are still nice. No rips. What I did is covered um, the front seats. A nice blue tone, blue and black, I should say. Again, this is the front end. A little loud up here. See how it looks. As I said, heads up display. You can message me if you want to know about that as well. Remember, guys, the 2010 RAM. 
has full leather dash and that's told the new um, rams that they brought back out the classics are not available with leather they only come in cloth isn't that funny only cloth but this package is everything leather oh, it works out really nice wasn't interested at first with the leather but that's the only package they had at the time 13 years now owning this truck and I do my best to take care of it we just came back from Orlando driving in this truck in May for vacation oh yeah this is the radio here let's get a quick view on the map how the map looks at night Dry mode. It's pretty cool. And it's not bad in response either. And if your vehicle is the one with the heated seats and fan and all that, it has an also a connection for that as well. So why didn't come with that? And also, you could do your zero to sixty times here, and also on the heads up display. So there's, you know, it's a pretty cool upgrade. Then you have the phone, music, has Android, Apple, so it connects to everything basically. Then also you have different screens that you can have, different colors, depends on the mood, you know. It's not bad, I like to put it to the blue quite good with my um you know but I also have um a remote so whatever color I decide to go with I can change remotely and what I did is I mounted my um antenna underneath the dash so where it's pretty good and my hidden secrets I got in here, I would not turn the light on. <laughs> Surprise you guys on the road. Because this is not the average RAM when it comes to horsepower. But still yet, I don't have the exhaust on it. So, you know, you just think it's just a regular RAM until I push on the gas. But then it'd be too late, right? <laughs> here again. Got an outside view. Uh, it's kind of dark. You can't really see it. But. Give me a little small walk around. But as I said, I really, really like these lights. These new lights I picked up. The other ones I had wasn't working out because um, every here in Canada gets really cool. So after every winter, the lights keep, the LED keeps freezing. But these ones are a little bit more money, but they went through a whole winter and it was really cool and nothing happened. And it's fully LED, even the reverse lights, which are located in here, they're all LED. So, I really, really like it. That's my back end. Really gives it a you know a fresher look, in, at least in my opinion. Okay, so next shot with my day run, and this is what it looks like from the outside. So you really got your truck, you know. Very up to par with the other ones. So there's just things that you can do to your ride that you don't need go spend a lot of money to get a new truck even my hood and that is something that I did myself as well just message me if you're interested to let me give you you know a little idea what to do also as you know still night view the red protection trimming I also installed that myself to give it a different look and also it protects you if you um, drive too close to the sidewalk which a lot of people do wouldn't scrape your rims 
and I had the special order those and I had those on this truck now for about three years so it's pretty good okay that's up for the day view okay guys as I promise you this is my day view of my 2010 Ram as I showed you last night these are the LED running daylights that I also installed myself it's a pretty cool look very difficult to install but I did it because you have to remove the whole bumper on these 2010 I know the newer years are much easier and you see it better in the daylight this is the hood that I did myself also this is some uh, this is spray on wrap works really well last few years compliments of my wife because I had a really shitty texture on before but she led me to something better but it really gives a really good finish this is stuff that you can do enhances the hood you know and also I did the pinstripe and just add that try to make it pop you know something different And the rim protectors. I also sprayed on it here. You know, I just. And this is something new I also added too. These are very difficult to get, especially for the sport model. Like how it comes all the way down here. So, I'm not sure if they still have those for sale, but they, they were very, very difficult for me to obtain. But it really gives a different look and it protects, you know, from rusting because these have a really bad wrap for rusting. I swear the engine will last forever, but the truck falls apart. The body, I should say. But yeah. It's really nice. As you can see the lights, daytime. It comes with this finish. You know, last night when I show you, you see how bright it is at night. I turn them on in the day that let you see as well. But this is stuff that you can add to your vehicle. But these lights are very good. I also um, did this myself as well. Very easy to do. And this truck didn't come with backup camera. I also installed this myself. Just came with the sensors, tow package, all that was standard for this particular model at the time. As you can see, it really gives it a nice, you know, I had to change the running boards because they're rusted out. And I have to get my quarter panel all that they repaint. Everything has to be redone because, you know, it's a 2010, but it's still pretty good condition for the year. Also, I changed these as well myself. This is all stuff again you can do yourself at home in your garage. I also relocated the uh, license. I installed this myself. It's very difficult, but it can be done. Because you know, it kind of ruins the look, you know. My opinion, I like that mean, you know, that mean look. Also, I did an uh, inch and a half spacers. You can kind of see it down here at the side. It brings it out to line, kind of lines up with the um, the fenders that I put on. Because I don't like the, you know, I know like guys like the wideness and stuff, but here in Canada, with the snow, it kind of defeats the purpose. Cause then. All the salt and stuff, you can cause it to rust. So, the whole point is just to give it a little nice stance, but I don't want it overhang too much to cause more rust on the body. But there you go. It's a nice walk around. show you inside
daytime shot. My beast. Also, what I added is um, the four liner mats. These works were really good. Protects your floors. Here as well. It's a very good upgrade and good investment. Protects your carpet. Do that yourself as well. How the dash looks in the daytime. And the back of the camera is really good. I also forgot to show you how good the um, camera quality is for the backup camera on this unit nice and crystal clear and as you can see down here if you have um, side cameras and different stuff that you can actually add to the unit and then switch to the different cameras as you want to view them it's a pretty good unit inside what I added so also I was um, these plastic covering all around and you can see it really goes with the theme of the truck. So I guess it's up to you whatever color. Got my same thing on the sides. I try to keep that, you know, blue and black theme going. And again, if you're interested in one of these radios for your um, RAM, I'm sure you'll guys who have RAM classics, it's possible to get your 12 inch and it's not gonna break the bank. Like if you were going to buy a new truck, in my opinion doesn't work with it. I really still like, um, you know, this other than the knob. So, I know a lot of guys still like that. Again there, there you go guys. Give me a roundup, an update on my RAM. I'm still enjoying it, still loving it. Nick from Truck Nation, and I'm out.